now to our special series with the NFL, Together We Make Football, inspiring stories about how the game impacts people on and off the field. And Willie's got that one for us. Willie, good morning. Good morning, guys. Good, good morning. to see you all. At six feet three inches tall and 325 pounds, Manny Ramirez of the Detroit Lions is a giant of the game, and especially so to the kids who look up to him. There you go. Come on. Drive. Drive. There we go. There we go, Manny. There we go, baby. Come on. I need 10 yards. I need 10 yards. Yeah. 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 You're done. You're done. Leave it. Leave it. Hard work is nothing new to Lions guard Manny Ramirez. He gets his drive from his parents. My father was a garbage man for the city of Houston and a roofer. My mom, same thing. They actually met on the roof when they were working together, and she was also a janitor for our middle school and high school as well. I wouldn't even put myself in the top 10 as far as like being the best athlete on the field in high school. There was always a lot better guys out there, but I was one of the few that actually took advantage of the opportunity that was there for us. If it wasn't for football, I wasn't be able to go to college because there was no way we could, we could ever afford it. Manny worked hard to become the first in his family to attend college. Now, as one of the growing number of Mexican-American players in the NFL, he's encouraging young Latinos to think big, like he did. We're real big role models to a lot of Hispanics, especially the little kids. And coming from where I come from, you know, I take a lot of pride that our parents sacrificed a lot for us to be where we're at today, and I'm grateful for that, and especially now having my own kids. Part of them being here with me when I do these type of uh, events, you know, that I'm able to bring them with them so they could understand, like, where we come from and who we are. Today, Manny is giving back and connecting with kids in the Detroit neighborhood called Mexican Town. There we go. Who wants bags? You want one, baby? There you go, mama. I take a lot of pride in being a good role model, you know, for a lot of the Hispanics, especially the youth, you know, because there's not many of us in this position. Yeah, you throw it to me. There were a lot of people look up to and say, I would like to be that one day. There we go, nice. I love to just be able to see their, their smile. He can relate to them. He can relate to growing up with the bare essentials. We believe that this is part of our heritage and this is part of our culture. I'm out. Boo. Being a Mexican American just allows me to be someone that others look up to. Here, you sit right here next to me. Right. I want to be able to set the foundation for them, for them to believe that it doesn't matter what people say, we do have an opportunity. It all goes back to my parents. I use them as motivation as far as like what they went through and what they sacrificed in order for us to be where we're at today. Now, Manny spent the first four years of his career with the Lions and then signed with Denver in 2011, playing in a Super Bowl while protecting Peyton Manning. But this past offseason, Manny decided to return to the team that drafted him and to the city of Detroit. And remember, you can head to today.com slash TWMF to share your story. If we feature it, you'll get a chance to win a trip to Super Bowl 50 in California's Bay Area. So in an upcoming 9 o'clock hour, I want to see you pushing the pushing Jeep the with Jeep. Natalie yes. and Al. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Make sure it's in neutral, Natalie. That's all I ask. <laughs> <laughs>